Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick, and we're out here on the Caribbean Islands, more specifically on the island of St. Martin. We're at Princess Julian International Airport, which is Tango November Charlie Mike, and uh, we'll be doing a flight today out to Miami International Airport, which is Kilo Mike India Alpha. Right now, we're just uh, panning across the, uh, the runway in the airport, having a look at that. Uh, I've never done a flight out of this airport at night. I've flown into it at night, so that'll be a first. And um, yeah, it should be a should be a good flight, probably around three hours. And uh, we'll be there. We're gonna take the uh, CJ2 out today. It's our second flight in a row with this plane. I've actually never done a night flight with this plane, so that'll be a first. Um, right now we're heading up the little stairs, and and we're gonna board the plane gonna head to the back and have a seat and see what that view looks like alright this will be the plan today we're gonna zoom in and have a look at the island and I'll show you the way we're getting out of here Alright, so we're going to depart runway 10, and we're going to turn around this way, and hook up with Juice, and then we'll be taking Juice uh, out this way. Basically going to hug the islands uh, a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. Up through this way. And then um, into Florida, and through this way, and we'll probably be landing ru uh, runway eight left, which is that one right there. All right, so that's what we'll be flying today. I'm gonna have a look at it one more time, zoomed out, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, got the right engine stabilized. We're going to start the left. And it's coming up nicely. Left generator on. No right generator. We'll turn the battery off. Put the battery back on. Avionics power on. All right. Well, we got everything set up on the plane. Turn the taxi light on, get the uh, panel light off, and we're on our way, guys. Now we're going to taxi onto the runway and then back off of it to the taxiway, and then we'll be taxiing down to, uh, to runway 10. our turn right here. Spent the uh, better part of the week um, studying up on this plane, doing a lot of test flights, um, a lot of things to figure out with the autopilot system uh, if you're not used to the ProLine 21 series. So I uh, had to learn that and I think we're doing a lot better now. Uh, now uh, that I know a lot more about this plane than I was doing, so it's going to keep learning it, keep studying up on it, because uh, I really like this plane and I really want to like understand more about it. So yeah, I'm in good shape now. It should be a good flight with uh, what I've learned and.
Okay, and this will be a left up here. And then we'll basically be taking this uh, straight for uh, a good portion of the way. Okay, we move forward in time just a little bit, and we're getting close to the runway. Uh, Prepared 3D version 3.4 has come out, but I haven't downloaded it yet. I kind of wanted to monitor the forums and, and see how it was working out for everybody, if there's any bugs or anything, and uh, so far it seems to be uh, good news. So I'll probably be getting that soon. You may see that on my next flight or the flight after, but I will have it. If any of you guys out there watching my videos have uh, Prepare 3D 3.4, uh, let me know how you're liking it. Let me know uh, uh, what your favorite thing is about it. Okay, we're going to cross here and uh, we're going to turn onto the runway and line up. Get the plane ready and, and then we're going to head out. Alright, there's the center line. Let's get lined up there. Alright, eased into the brakes, that was nice. And we're going to put the parking brake on. switch the taxi lights for landing lights. Uh, this will be the departure heading out. You can see the turn there that we'll be doing. I'm going to get the nav on now that we're lined up. Okay, we're going to add the power, and we're going to take off. Now, this is still the hardest part of the flight in this plane, um, is the takeoff, because how uh, uncontrollably the, the plane wants to go. So, uh, I've tried setting power at 70%, 50%. Uh, someone suggested turning off the P-factor and torque. Tried that, uh, and it still wants to get all over the runway. This is a, a problem a lot of other people are having, but... Uh, I'll figure it out eventually, and uh, it wasn't too bad here, but still, I, I like to keep it straight down the runway, and it's very hard to do that in this plane, but we'll get to the bottom of that. Uh, we got a V1, and we're rotating. Positive rate, gear up, and now we're going to hit the turn. Some lightning in the sky. Yeah, like I said, the biggest thing to study for me in this plane was, um, well, one, I went over the uh, cold to dark, setting it up, and getting the plane started, but the autopilot, the um, the way you go about it after takeoff, once you're in the air, there's uh, certain things you gotta, you got to do. It's, it's a little more complex than the autopilot on the Airbus and the, uh, well, I won't say the Airbus, but definitely the 737. I, I definitely think that all pilot's a little easier than this one, but 
that's okay. Once you learn it, you it becomes easy. It's just when you're trying to figure it out, there's there's a lot of different things you have to have set to make it work properly. And then you know, it doesn't work exactly like the manual says. Like they tell you to turn on the uh, V nav and the nav at the same time after takeoff. But I found that don't start the V nav yet until you are on the next waypoint. You're you're going straight like we're about to right now. Right now is when I would start the V nav in a, in a second. Once you're you're stabilized on the plan, otherwise it can do some weird things. I found so just you know pit learning little things like that this week. We're gonna go up to thirty two thousand feet on this flight. Having a look out the first officer's side at nothing. It's gonna be a whole lot of nothing on this flight. We're not gonna be able to see anything. That's the thing about night flights, but they're still fun to do. It's fun seeing the the cockpit lit up like this and uh, the the cities when you're departing and and um, arriving. But being we're out on some little small islands, we're not gonna be able to see too much. Okay, got a right turn going onto this, uh, onto the waypoint up here. All right, we have hit the cruise altitude, 32,000 feet, and we're on our way. The California Capital Air Show is next weekend. It's a two-day event, and I'm going to be out there on hopefully Sunday, uh, and I'll probably record some of that, kind of do a little vlog out there, put that up on the channel. Should be a good show. Just passing Mayag and heading up to Ducky. About halfway through the trip right now. Got bored during the flight, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd do some nice little shots around the around the panels. This plane looks very good at night. They did a good job modeling that. Okay, we have began our descent, getting closer to Florida. That's another great thing with this autopilot too, is it knows when you're, when you need to go down to your uh, next altitude. You don't have to change it. You don't have to hit any buttons to re to reset anything. It'll just bring you on down. So that's kind of nice that it, that it functions properly. I'll probably do a tutorial on this plane pretty soon. But I just want to, uh, like I said, study up some more, do a lot more flights on it before I do that because I don't want to uh, mislead you guys in any way. I want to give you the right information. And, and then, you know, basically clear up any of the the little quirks or problems that you might run into I have answers for those in the video too so 
It's just a matter of uh, more experience with the plane before I do that, but this this will be a video I will do. All right, we've reached the coastline. We're at around we're at eight thousand feet. Trying to get down to three thousand feet. Okay, we have made the turn onto the runway. We're lining up, and uh, we're heading in. And this is runway eight left. It's the closer runway to the the general aviation side of the airport. This is the approach plate. Zoom in on the plan here, so better stay on the line. I'm gonna trim up a little more. It says we're showing we're below the glide slope, and uh, we're gonna catch it in a moment right here. Now this plane. Like I said, other than the takeoff, everything else about it is is great, uh, especially landings. You can basically just trim it nice and easy all the way down. And right before I, right when I get to the runway, I like to trim down just enough to where you can you have a little slack on the on the yoke, so you can pull back a little more for the flare. If you have it trimmed just perfectly, like any slight little movement on the yoke will might bring the plane up too much and then you'll be floating so I like to trim down just a little more than you need to so I can have more slack on the yoke but that's just with this plane, that doesn't work for every plane these lights are coming from Orbex they make it happen, they have a little editor and you can configure all the lights, all the street lights, and uh, the different kind of lights they have. You can make them as bright as you want. One thousand. Alright, this is it. We're on the final. Touchdown, and we're breaking. Might have landed it a little flat. I don't know if the uh, I think the nose gear was up in the air for a second before it touched down. We'll see on the replay.
Yeah. Yeah, it was on the back wheels for just a second, so. Could have done a better flare there. But not too bad. Alright, let's check out this cabin view. Looks very bumpy back there. One hundred. <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't like that in 50, the cockpit, I don't think. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Kind of cool though. And we're down. Alright. Got a master caution right now, letting us know we're running low on fuel, but that's okay because we're on the ground now and we've made it. And we're going to taxi over to our parking spot. just hit 600 subscribers. Uh, thank you guys for that. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Gonna keep rolling these out. Well, alright guys. I'm gonna have to be going. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Take care.